this week on Long Shot TV. We'll be fishing the Gulf Stream, hoping to uh, catch some wahoo, dolphin, and tuna. I keep these pretty tight behind the boat, just in the wheel wash. Hey, 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 so I got the line straightened back out and drove across the rocks in. I mean, two more went off. I could almost see the leader coming up. I couldn't quite see the fish. And all of a sudden, the hook pulls. The last rod we're about ready to pick up and wind up, it just goes off screaming. Poor. Today's episode of Long Shot TV is presented by Judd Coon Chevrolet and Tailwalker Marine. Well, the fish are definitely biting offshore. I was offshore fishing a few days ago, uh, commercial fishing. Me and my cousin and one of the other crews had a really good day with the dolphin and wahoo. So uh, I told the guys on the Long Shot crew, we need to definitely get a fishing trip together and let's go offshore and try to target some mahi, wahoo, maybe get lucky and catch a marlin or a yellowfin tuna. Uh, the week before, Wade actually had caught over a thousand pounds of, of dolphin. It was just absolutely beautiful pulling out of the inlet that morning. So uh, the weather report was looking a little iffy. It was going to be blowing out the northeast 5 to 15 knots, which the day before it was blowing 25 knots out the southwest. As uh, we were cutting the corner there at the Little River Jetties, the sun uh, was coming up, starting to rise, and I mean the ocean just looked slick as could be as far as you could see. I realized immediately it was going to be a great day. We get out of the inlet and Wade puts the hammer down and we've got a couple of hours ahead of us. So I pushed the throttles on up to about 28.50 and we were making about 24 knots uh, steaming offshore. Well, we just made about a 75 mile run offshore today. We're gonna be fishing the Gulf Stream, hoping to uh, catch some wahoo, dolphin, and tuna. The water temperature is about 74 degrees and we've got a nice temperature break right up ahead of us. It goes from 74 to 78 degrees. Normally when you find a nice break like that, there'll be some bait and uh, where there's some bait, there'll be some big fish. So we're gonna get a few ballyhoo rigged up and uh, start dragging some and hopefully get a nibble here soon. Wade heads to the back of the boat and, and starts rigging up the ballyhoos and, and, and I'm back there, you know, I'm, I'm trying to help him out as much as I can, but on the same hand, you know, Wade's been doing this 100 years and third generation fisherman, you know, uh, he pretty much don't want my hands in it. Well, usually the fish these plugs catch have teeth, you can see how they're all beat up. And if you don't have the wire on them, you're just gonna lose them. If you have regular mono, they'll just cut you right off. I keep these pretty tight behind the boat, just in the wheel wash. You know, the wahoo, they'll usually come up right here where these the water is. So I, keep, I keep the two plugs real tight to the boat. Push the poop out. Now I break the backbone right there in the tail. Then just the tail. See how the tail wiggles? I size the hook up where I want the hook to come out at. I'm going in behind the gill plate. I curve the fish and get the hook to come out that hole and then roll it in. Then I go behind that gill plate. I 
And right here, I go through the center of the eye. And then right here, I go through the center of the bill. Now I wrap it right down on the beak, keeping that fishing line right there square. Go on up, dug it right there. Snip it off. And there you got a perfect rig ballet here. Let's put it on this side over here. We run through, we get all the rigs set and all the ballyhoos and a couple of plugs out. And, uh, you know, we start our day trolling. This segment of Longshot TV is brought to you in part by Judd Coon Chevrolet. Voyager deep sea fishing and dolphin cruises. Ford's fuel and propane. The Shack. Country Boy Outfitters. If you want the baddest truck on and off the road and quality matters to you like me, Judd Coon Chevrolet and Rocky Ridge Custom Trucks team up to bring you America's best lift truck. Rocky Ridge customizes new truck with direct shipping from GM. Rocky Ridge builds the biggest, baddest truck in America. Judd Coon Chevrolet is the outdoorsman's first choice for trucks. Let Rocky Ridge and Judd Coon Chevy help you find new roads off-road. Spring is here and it's time to get out and experience the outdoors. Country Boy Outfitters is your number one source for all your outdoor gear, including a full line of turkey hunting products, calls, blinds, snake boots, and decoys from popular brands like Avian X. And don't forget about guns by Benelli and Browning and bows from Matthews and Hoyt. How about an afternoon on the water casting your favorite bait? Country Boy Outfitters has what you need from rods to bait and tackle, and you've got to check out their popular line of creek boats. The premier outfitters of the Carolinas, Country Boy Outfitters of Whiteville. You can find some of the best fishing right off the coast of the Carolinas. The Voyager fleet of boats is your one-stop shop for deep sea fishing and dolphin cruises. They are conveniently located in North Myrtle Beach and have five different vessels ranging from 44 to 100 feet. The Voyager team offers different trips to fit most any budget. Find them on the web at supervoyagerdeepseafishing.com or call them direct at 843-626-4900. Call today to book your trip. Are you ready to experience the water? Tailwalker Marine can get you there fast with their inventory of new and used boats. They offer financing for your new Cobia, Sportsman, War Eagle, Yellowfin, and more. Tailwalker is a factory trained five star gold Yamaha dealer who offers custom rigging and mobile services. Come visit their tackle shop for your inshore and offshore accessories and apparel. They're conveniently located in Georgetown and you can visit them online at tailwalkermarine.com. At Tailwalker Marine, they don't just sell a lifestyle, they live it before the break on Long Shot TV. We're going to be fishing the Gulf Stream, hoping to uh, catch some wahoo, dolphin, and tuna. If you don't have the wire on them, you're just going to lose them. If you have regular mono, they'll just cut you right off. I keep these pretty tight behind the boat, just in the wheel wash. You know, the wahoo, they'll usually come up right here where these the water is. So I, keep, I keep the two plugs real tight to the boat. And there you got a perfect rig ballot here. We dumped the baits in the water and we trolled. It seemed like we were trolling for, I know, at least a half a day. I'm pretty much second guessing everything by this point, you know. What in the heck am I doing out here, you know? Uh, maybe we picked the wrong day to come. And I was really surprised. I mean, we had the, the water clarity was bright, like a purplish blue. There was flying fish, a, a little bit of grass, just to, I mean, everything seemed to be perfect, but the fish wasn't biting. Talk to every guys, tell them what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to creep on up in shore, maybe go even a little shallow. And uh, so we got in at about 165 feet. 
and right there on this particular bottom we're trolling, it's a lot of ledges and a lot of rock bottom. It's probably 1.30, 2 o'clock before one of the rods finally goes screaming down, and uh, I mean, it catches us all by surprise. Hey, 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 what? All of a sudden, both reels went off at the same time. Adam uh, was fighting his, and I was fighting mine. It, it really didn't take any time. This fish was running through the boat, and I was just cranking on. Wade was there with the gaff, and he's, uh, you know, telling me to go back, go back, go back. One fish came right to the boat fairly fast, and um, the next fish, you know, put up a little bit of fight. Can you come slow the boat down? Adam gets his uh, finally in, and mine takes even actually a little bit longer. to get another one. Take that rod at him and get right to the other side there. Double hook up a Wahoo. There you got her now. Let's keep it coming. You only got to walk back this stream. Nice Wahoo, Chris. Well, we finally hooked up. We've been uh, fishing all morning and finally hooked up on a couple good wahoos. We've been trolling this uh, since probably 9.30 this morning and this after lunch. And right here in this one spot, had two pretty much jump on at the same time, uh, actually on two different types of baits. So we're going to keep trolling around and hopefully we can get some more. I'm amazed at, at the, the coloring on these fish. They've got the, the tiger stripe and the, the awesome colors on, on the top of their back. So we circle back uh, uh, around. We come back over the same hole. I had the purple and black uh, Yazuri plug out, and uh, I knew if there was a Wahoo around, it was definitely going to eat that bait. So we got them rigged right back up, put them right back out, and I was going right back for the same location we caught those fish. So I cut the boat back around and going back across the numbers again. And it wasn't just a few minutes. I got the line straightened back out and drug across the rocks in. I mean, two more went off. Chris, just keep steady pressure. You got a big fish there. This segment of Longshot TV is brought to you in part by Tailwalker Marine, Tillman Insurance, Atlantic Heating and Cooling, a backyard creation, a full service pool and spa company, Atlas Plumbing. Since 1998, Yellowfin has been dedicated to an uncompromising mission. Nice, nice! To provide fishing families with boats designed to be the ultimate in performance, efficiency, quality, and style, with the driest, most stable ride on the water, legendary attention to detail, and unsurpassed fishability. Ultimate goal at Yellowfin is to provide families with the freedom to create a lifetime of great memories, one day at a time. If you've been in an accident, let the experienced team at WWPEM Attorneys at Law work for you. With more than 250 years and combined legal experience, our 14 lawyer legal team stands ready to help you. WWPEM Attorneys regularly help clients in matters involving accidents, workers' compensation, business transactions, criminal defense, divorce and family law matters, estate planning, and real estate transactions. Serving clients in North and South Carolina. Look us up on the web or even call us 24 hours a day. WWPEM Attorneys at Law, here to help you in your time of need. 
it's so hot our ac went down but who to call in this beach town that cool mascot but what's the name what would the penguin say atlantic heating and cooling atlantic heating and cooling that's what the penguin says call now for amazing carrier lease purchase financing no credit check needed carrier turn to the experts atlantic heating and cooling be cool y'all Mrs. Reed, hi, how's your day? Well, Rebecca had a play date. The twins worked on an art project. I had lunch with little Joey, and then we shopped for pillows. That sounds nice. Thank you. Crestcom Bank, because we think everyone deserves a little nice in their day. We make opening any free checking account nice and easy. You can find some of the best fishing right off the coast of the Carolinas. The Voyager fleet of boats is your one-stop shop for deep sea fishing and dolphin cruises. They are conveniently located in North Myrtle Beach and have five different vessels ranging from 44 to 100 feet. The Voyager team offers different trips to fit most any budget. Find them on the web at supervoyagerdeepseafishing.com or call them direct at 843-626-4900. Call today to book your trip. Before the break on Long Shot TV. Everything seemed to be perfect, but the fish wasn't biting. I'm pretty much second guessing everything by this point. Hey, 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 it's working. I'm back. You got to keep drinking a little bit more back. Yeah, you got her now. Let's keep it coming. I got the line straightened back out and drug across the rocks in. I mean, two more went off. And uh, so I jump on uh, the rod I'm closest to. Chris jumps on this other one, and uh, we go to fighting. It's on. Just keep on coming. You got it coming. Oh, God. What'd you do? What do you mean? Well, Adam's particular fish cut across the center rigger and got tangled and therefore got some slack in the line. The fish spit the hooks and we were pulling a bird nest in the back of the boat. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wine. Yeah, you're fine, wine Adam. Your fish got off. Oh! Here you go, pull, pull this. Not careful. What do you mean wrapped up? What's wrong? Down, Chris. You gotta pick that rod up out of there. I can't I can't get him. We got a mess right there. Give me some slack, Chris. Chris gets his fish to the boat and Wade gets the gaff in them and uh he pulls the fish up along with a couple of fishing lines. You know, it's, it's just a jumbled up bird's nest of lines and waves like, oh my goodness, you know, I got these rookies on the boat with me. Another big, nice wahoo. Just lucky I was in the back of the boat and, and uh, got to grab it first. We had about three or four other lines wrapped in from Chris's fish, but the most important thing, we got Chris's fish in the boat and it was a nice, beautiful fish. Wade had just uh, hooked up to uh, ballyhoos. We got them back into the water, and it went five minutes later, wham, this one jumps on. They're schooling fish. We, right there where you caught, or we caught the two, we turned right back around, right back across the rock, and had two more uh, uh, bite Chris in the same spot. I finally got my Wahoo in. We were excited about being out there. What a beautiful day, early May, here in the Carolinas. So uh, old Roy's been running the camera all day, so we put a game plan together for this next fish. And uh, Roy was very excited, he was up to bat. And I had a real long line out behind a bird. And uh, usually when you pull a bird, you have a bait up on top, but I put a little bit heavier uh, bait on behind the bird and a lot more leader to get it down just a little bit underneath the bird. All of a sudden, bam, a big old fish hits. And uh, this fish here is definitely a nice fish. Yeah, if you got one in. <laughs> Please give me a defense. His 
arm's about to fall off where he's been, you know, cranking for 15 minutes. With the fish running the other way and peeling drag off, you know, it ends up being a couple of hundred yards off the back of the boat. All of a sudden, this fish gets at the back of the boat, you know, maybe 50 yards. It was like I could almost see the leader coming up. I couldn't quite see the fish. and all of a sudden, the hook pulls. We lose the fish and we're like, oh no, man. Fish hadn't been plentiful today, so the pressure was on and, and we just lost one, so it's not a good feeling at all. This segment of Longshot TV is brought to you in part by Country Boy Outfitters, Thompson Roofing, Crestcom Bank, Bill Bellamy and Sons Incorporated, WWPEM, Attorneys at Law. Are you ready to experience the water? Tailwalker Marine can get you there fast with their inventory of new and used boats. They offer financing for your new Cobia, Sportsman, War Eagle, Yellowfin, and more. Tailwalker is a factory-trained five-star gold Yamaha dealer who offers custom rigging and mobile services. Come visit their tackle shop for your inshore and offshore accessories and apparel. They're conveniently located in Georgetown, and you can visit them online at tailwalkermarine.com. At Tailwalker Marine, they don't just sell a lifestyle, they live it. One of the downsides of owning your own business here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, is the odds are stacked against me. I know, it's only a matter of time before disaster strikes again. That's the reason why I trust Tillman Insurance Agency. Tillman Insurance is located at 905 2nd Avenue North here in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Check out the number below for any of your auto, home, business, life insurance needs. Spring is here and it's time to get out and experience the outdoors. Country Boy Outfitters is your number one source for all your outdoor gear, including a full line of turkey hunting products, calls, blinds, snake boots, and decoys from popular brands like Avian X. And don't forget about guns by Benelli and Browning and bows from Matthews and Hoyt. How about an afternoon on the water, casting your favorite bait? Country Boy Outfitters has what you need from rods to bait and tackle, and you've got to check out their popular line of creek boats. The premier outfitters of the Carolinas, Country Boy Outfitters of Whiteville. If you want the baddest truck on and off the road and quality matters to you like me, Judd Coon Chevrolet and Rocky Ridge Custom Trucks team up to bring you America's best lift truck. Rocky Ridge customizes new truck with direct shipping from GM. Rocky Ridge builds the biggest, baddest truck in America. Judd Coon Chevrolet is the outdoorsman's first choice for trucks. Let Rocky Ridge and Judd Coon Chevy help you find new roads off-road. Before the break on Long Shot TV. He had to pick that rod up out of there. I can't, I can't get him. I could almost see the leader coming up. I couldn't quite see the fish. And all of a sudden, the hook pulls. We lose the fish. These fish hadn't been plentiful today, so the pressure was on and, and we just lost one, so it's not a good feeling at all. So I told the guys, you know, we got a two and a half to three hour ride home, that I was gonna point the boat to the hill and pull across a couple more pieces of bottom and then we're gonna, you know, have to pull them up and head on in. We all grab a pole and I'm like, let's just pull one in at a time. So Roy's back here cranking some rods in at the end and Adam and Chris and all of a sudden, I go over and start to crank one in. And uh, when I start to grab the rod to crank it in, this rod starts burning drag, and I knew that that was a fish right there. I was like, oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me here. Let's put them back out, let's put them back out. Uh, O'Roy 
was thought I was joking about the ride screaming. I mean, this ride was burning down, and it, I mean, it was just like we won the lottery. The last ride we're about ready to pick up and wind up, it just goes off screaming 200 yards. He hooked this fish and fought him for about 25 minutes. Got really, really tired. Wade had to actually come in. Here, I'm gonna hand it to you. You want him? Here, Roy. Just wanna keep pressure. He's swimming right here in the wood water. He's running. I got a hand line to stay close. Well, in case he runs, we're gonna tear my hand off. Hold on. Pull, Roy. Pull, Roy. Yeah. When that fish hit the deck, Roy was ecstatic. He's never caught a fish that big. We had three wahoo we boated earlier and lost a couple. Uh, no signs of no dolphin, hardly any flying fish, any bait in the water. But uh, just getting ready to wrap the lines up and uh, port rod went smoking off. And uh, by the way he was taking drag, I knew it was a wahoo. And Roy did a great job, put a nice wahoo in the boat. And uh, the old purple and black did it again. We had actually kept all these wahoo and made a decision that, you know, these are some of the best eating fish, so we're definitely going to keep these right after So we invited some of our, our uh, family and our friends over. <laughs> yeah, how many times? Oh, uh, start over, get the bucket, come back, run over, just fill the day. We did high new bucks, where you could just fill the day, just go sit in the woods, and make a push, get the wind right. It was a tough day. We had about a 14 hour day out there catching these wahoo and, and we're just uh, tickled to death to be able to spend some time together grilling out and, and being able to cook up these fish and, and uh, actually share some time together, uh, you know, away from hunting and fishing and, and uh, we just enjoyed the evening with family and friends and, and just had an awesome time together. Want to find out more about Longshot TV? Look us up on the following. Special thanks goes out to our friends and partners at Country Boy Outfitters. Why did I choose ATMC Security? Peace of mind. With video monitoring from ATMC Security, I can see what's happening at my home anytime right on my phone. I can see who's pulling in the driveway and check on our puppy Sam. Most importantly, I get a video alert when my kids get home from school so I know they're safe. Get 24-7 protection, home automation, and video monitoring as low as $36.95 per month. Peace of mind. That's why I switched to ATMC Security. Choose ATMC Security for peace of mind you can afford. At ATMC, we get it. We know you'd rather spend your time surfing, tweeting, gaming, and checking out your favorite sites. It's important to stay connected to those who matter most. That's why we're here. ATMC. Local company, local priorities. 
ATMC TV works hard to bring you the best in local programming for Brunswick and Columbus counties. Our goal is to provide local programming that is interesting, informative, and entertaining to the residents of our area. ATMC TV also offers all their information at ATMCTV.com. Find out when your favorite shows are airing, watch current ATMC TV episodes, check the local bulletins, or even submit a public service announcement about your organization. Be sure to check us out on the web at ATMCTV.com.